Consider this. Nearly 75% of households in America are headed by single mothers. Also, one in four have a disability, while facing slander and mistreatment daily. A mother, often fighting against societal tides, or one in every five women navigating through life with disabilities, a journey that's far from easy. But the struggle doesn't end there. These women, instead of being applauded for their resilience, are subjected to slander, treated with disdain, and are often the target of ill-intentioned gossip. Their characters are assassinated by rumors, often about past events, spread by people who barely know them. But let's not paint them as victims. No, these women are survivors, warriors who face their challenges head on, standing tall amidst the storm. These women are not victims, but survivors who face their challenges head on. Scene script. Jess is a woman of steel, a woman of courage, a single mother, she bore the brunt of the world's harsh judgments and baseless accusations. She was ridiculed by her schoolmates, who claimed it was her fault she was alone. Even strangers, who knew nothing about her struggles, treated her with disrespect. The workplace was no sanctuary either. Her co-workers, instead of lending a helping hand, were quick to gaslight, gossip, and smirk. But Jess, she stood tall. She didn't let the whispers of the world break her down. She knew she had two pairs of innocent eyes watching her, learning from her. She had to be strong, for them and for herself. The slander was like a storm, but she was the oak tree that wouldn't break only bend a little in the wind. She was the rock that wouldn't erode for her children and the fire for her children. A single mother who pushed through the tears from the world's cruel words not letting them define her. The rumors, the whispers, the side glances hurt sometimes. They pained her deeply, but every time she looked into her children's eyes, she found the strength to keep going. She found the courage to rise above the slander, ill-treatment, and injustice. Her journey was not easy. It was filled with obstacles and hardships. But she didn't let them stop her. She picked up the pieces, kept moving through the pain. She turned the slander into motivation, the ill-treatment into determination. She turned her pain into power. Her story is one of resilience, of strength beyond measure. It's a tale of a woman who refused to be defined by society's judgments. She fought at all costs to provide the basics for her children while fighting her enemies. Jane's strength and resilience know it was the Heavenly Father's spirit helping her to keep going. Abba gave her courage, her determination and the Holy Spirit to keep going. No matter the slander, no matter the ill treatment, you have the power to rise above it. Choose your own narrative. You have the power to be a hero. Now, let's hear from Elise, a woman with a disability who faced similar challenges. Elise was born with a disability that made walking a challenge. She was a woman of strength and resilience, but she was not immune to the harsh words and degrading treatment of those around her. It wasn't just the physical hurdles she had to cross. It was the mental and emotional battles she had to fight every day because of the ill treatment she received. She was the target of cruel jokes and malicious gossip, a victim of character assassination from those who knew nothing about her struggles. Her disability was not her fault, yet she was blamed, ridiculed, and ostracized. At work, colleagues whispered behind her back, treating her as less capable. Strangers, family, and even so-called friends looked down upon her, making her feel like a burden. The slander was a constant reminder of her difference, a weapon used to belittle her dignity and worth. But Alice was not one to be defeated. She had a spirit that refused to be broken. She faced mistreatment and the challenges of her disability with grace and determination. She chose to rise above the negativity, to show the world that she was more than her disability. She proved to herself and to everyone else that she was capable, that she was strong, that she was a woman of worth. Elise's journey was not an easy one. It was filled with obstacles and hardships, but she overcame them all with her indomitable spirit. She used the slander as a stepping stone to prove her worth, to show the world her strength. She turned her disability into her strength, transforming the negativity into a source of inspiration. Her story is a testament to the power of resilience and the strength of the human spirit. You can rise above the pain. It's a message of hope and courage for anyone facing similar challenges. No challenge is too great to overcome. Slander is destructive. It destroys reputations, relationships, and lives. Like a wildfire, slander spreads rapidly, consuming everything in its path. 
It's a silent killer, often going unnoticed until it's too late. It thrives on whispers, gossip, and misinformation, growing in strength with each fallacious word spoken. It leaves behind a trail of emotional devastation, tarnished reputations, and shattered lives. Slander, a form of verbal assault, can be as damaging as physical violence. It tears at the fabric of one's identity and trust, eroding self-esteem and self-worth. It can lead to anxiety, depression, and in severe cases, self-harm or suicide. And it's not just the individual who suffers. Slander impacts communities as well. Trust is eroded, relationships are strained, and a sense of unity is lost. It's like a poison that seeps into the heart of a community, creating division and discord. The Bible, a beacon of moral guidance, condemns the act of slander. In the book of Proverbs it says, whoever spreads slander is a fool. And in the letter of James we find, do not speak evil against one another, brothers and sisters. James 3, 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. It's important to remember that each one of us has the power to halt this wildfire. It starts with recognizing the destructive nature of slander and choosing not to participate in it. It's about standing up for truth and integrity, even when it's easier to go along with the crowd. In the end, the power of our words can't be overstated. Words can wound, but they can also heal. They can tear down, but they can also build up. They can spread hate, but they can also spread love. Remember, words have power. Let's use them to uplift, not to tear down. So, let us wield this power responsibly, using our words to spread kindness, understanding, and love. Because in a world where you can be anything, be kind. You have the power to make a difference. Stand up against slander and ill treatment of women. It's time to take action, to become the change we wish to see in society. And it starts with speaking up. When we witness slander or any form of ill treatment, we must raise our voices. Silence in these situations is complicity. We must not let fear or discomfort prevent us from standing up for what is right. Imagine a world where every woman feels safe, respected, and valued. This is not an unreachable dream, but a reality we can create together. By supporting victims of slander, we can help them regain their confidence and dignity. We can offer a listening ear, a comforting word, or a helping hand. We can let them know they are not alone in their struggles and that they are worthy of respect and kindness. Promoting respect and equality is another crucial step in this journey. We can challenge the stereotypes and prejudices that fuel slander. We can correct conversations that start off slandering others by changing the subject. We can celebrate their resilience, their courage, and their contributions. We can also use our influence to promote positive change around us. We can encourage our friends, family members, and co-workers to treat all women with respect despite the negative trend of the media. We can advocate for policies and practices that protect the weak and those that have struggles with basic needs. Remember, every action, no matter how small, will have a reaction. A single word can uplift someone's spirit. A single act of kindness can restore someone's faith in themselves and humanity. A single stand against gossip and slander can spark a movement for change. Together, we can create a world where every woman, regardless of her circumstances, is treated with the respect and dignity she deserves. It's time for change. It's time to stand up against the works of the flesh. We all have a role to play and we all will give an account on the day of judgment. From our homes to our schools, our workplaces to our places of worship, we must foster environments of safety, acceptance, and respect. Be that change you want to see in your community. Speak or contact authorities when you witness injustices of those who cannot protect themselves. Rise about the lower nature. Deepen your understanding of righteous behavior. Support organizations that empower children, women, and those with disabilities. Your time, your donations, your advocacy can all make a significant impact. And most importantly, listen. Listen to the voices of those in need hear their stories, understand their struggles, remember your voice matters. You may save someone's life. Use it to stand up for those who can't. Together, we can make a difference.